Okay, I just did a quick little tiny video here that I had in mind that I could put on the channel that anyone who was interested might just be interested, I don't know. But when they come here, they sometimes say to me, how long is it? You must take you all day to do all them edges. It's, there's loads of them. Well, it doesn't take that long, actually. Um, I do it with a strimmer. The best way to do it, and it's way, way fast, uh, way faster than using uh, shears. Um, it's a bit d sort of risky in terms of you can cause a lot of damage if you make a mistake. But I've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> I learned how to strim when I worked on the council. And uh, basically, you were cutting grass, strimming edges all day long. And you had to basically run with a strim. <laughs> it's like a fast walk, almost. You know, you could run with it if you wanted to. You get more work done. Doing edges as well, just by, by basically turning the strimmer upside down and um, I'll show you. You basically normally sort of hold your strimmer sort of like this with the, you know, obviously with the reel horizontally. You flip it over, da -da -da -da. it's cut like that. It's a well known method. People use it all over the world as a way of cutting edges. But here we go. There's a Euonymus hedge here, which is a new, brand new hedge. We planted it in the winter this year to replace the box hedge, which had got blight and it just seemed to be, there was nothing, it didn't, it was just going downhill. So the decision was made to replace the hedge. Um, so we've put the Euonymus, I think it's green spire, the variety, and uh, it's, it needs a lot of water in at the moment because it's been very dry so we've got a seep hose um, set up and we move that around well I'm thinking I'm, it might be better to cut that into lengths just so we can leave it in place for the summer really because the more you move it around it sort of, I don't think it's very durable it will break you know. so um, and then when, of course I have to move it if I'm going to strim so anyway I always start from right to left that in this way. I walk, I don't know why, but I just tend to walk backwards like this because it's, then you're pulling on it like that and all the, all the debris goes away from the head. And then I'll, so I'll go down it like that, go all the way around basically, flip it over and then go around it again to, to actually sort of plane the edge. <laughs> That's how it's done.